Here's another example that concerns the uniform distribution. Let x be a uniform random variable between 0 and 1. Find the variance of 3 times the floor of 2 times x plus 4. Now at first this expression right here might seem a little bit intimidating, but we're going to start on the inside and kind of break this down. So to begin with, we know that the random variable x has a uniform distribution between 0 and 1. It stands to reason that 2x, which is the quantity inside the floor function, would be a uniform random variable between 0 and 2. Now that's intuition and intuition can sometimes work against you. What I should probably use here is I should probably use the CDF technique which was introduced in chapter 3 to make sure that is the case. But in fact in this case it is. So the next thing to think about here is the floor of 2x. And what's happening with this floor function is we're taking some random variable that lies between 0 and 2 and we're taking the floor of it. Well, if that random variable, which is continuous, lies between 0 and 1, then the floor will make it into a 0. If the continuous random variable falls between 1 and 2, then the floor will make it into a 1. So we've actually converted here, using the floor function, a continuous random variable into a discrete random variable. And there is a 0.5 probability that it will be 0 and a 0.5 probability it will be 1. So this happens to be a Bernoulli random variable with a p parameter of 1 half. Now at this point we can start to work on the problem at hand which is the variance of 3 times the floor of 2x plus 4. First thing to recognize is that when you add 4 to a random variable, it does not change its variance. So you can simply just eliminate the plus 4 in this variance expression. Now the second thing to recognize is this constant 3 here can come out front of the variance operator and it comes out front as a 9. So this is 9 times the variance of the floor of 2x. Now at this point you come up here and recognize that the floor of 2x is the same as a Bernoulli one-half random variable and if you go back to the Bernoulli distribution you will remember that the variance of a Bernoulli is p times 1 minus p. So this will be p which is one-half multiplied by 1 minus p which is also 1 half and this entire thing evaluates to 9 fourths. Now you might be a little bit nervous in this derivation over the fact that some assumptions have been made along the way and this 9 fourth you might not feel completely sure of and so one thing you can do is you can go to Monte Carlo simulation and that's what's done on the next page. So here is some R code that does Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, the number of replications is sent to, set to 100,000. This RUNIF right here is going to generate the uniform zero ones. Now what happens to those uniform zero ones is they get multiplied by 2 and then the R floor function is applied those get multiplied by 3, 4 gets added, and this var operator here will give you the variance of those 100,000 values. So when we make five runs of this, we get numbers that are hovering around 2.5. This is the first run of 100,000 replications, second, third. They are clearly hovering around 2.25 and these confirm and actually I'm going to make this important point here confirm should be in quotes really the appropriate word here is these support the fact that the variance is nine fourths you can never confirm with a Monte Carlo simulation it is not a proof it is just some evidence along those lines 
So at this point, if we come in here and we hide this particular page, we are back in R here. Let me get into it with the command capital R and control L will clear the screen. If I were to set N rep to say an even higher number, let's go with a million. And I were to type in the variance of three times the floor of two times R unif of N rep. It's got two closing parentheses then that gets four added to it and then a closing parenthesis. You can see this runs very, very quickly. But here, notice how close you are to the 2.25. By bringing the number of replications up, hit it right on that time, you get much closer to the theoretical value. So you can see that this is converging to the 2.25, which is what we got analytically.